As you can see in this ENC chart, the water is divided into four shades, blue, light blue, gray, and white. In between different shades, it is separated by a line that we call a contour line. A contour line refers to a line on the chart that connects points of equal depth. The electronic navigational chart displays these contour lines digitally to assist mariners in navigation and route planning. It helps navigators to identify areas of different depths and navigate safely through waterways. The depth sounding shown in this ENC is in meters. The contour lines that you can see in this chart show an equal depth in meters. Contours are shown at regular intervals depending on the availability of the ENC. Some ENC contours are available from 2 meters, 5, 10, 15, 20 meters, and so on. There are also ENCs that the contours are available in 5 meters, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 meters, and so on at regular intervals. We can find the available value of the different contours of the particular ENC in the Electronic Chart Display and Information System or ECDIS. If we look at the spot sounding on both sides of this contour line, the spot sounding in the blue shaded area is 9 meters and 10.8 meters in the light blue. It means that this contour line is showing an equal depth of 10 meters. Let us go to the other side of the traffic lane. Here in the gray shaded area, the spot sounding is 27 meters and on the white is 31 meters. It means that this contour line is showing an equal depth of 30 meters. There are safety parameters that need to be determined and set in the ECDIS before making a passage plan. Those are the shallow contour, safety contour, safety depth, and deep contour. The contours are displayed depending on the value set in the safety parameters of the ECDIS. In this ENC, the value set for the shallow contour is 7 meters, for the safety contour and safety depth, it is set to 14 meters, and 28 meters for the deep contour. I will discuss in the later part of this video how the following values are determined. First, let us interpret the following parameters based on the set values. The contour line that you can see between the blue and the light blue is a shallow contour. Shallow contour refers to a line on a nautical chart that indicates the depth of water at which a ship is considered to be in shallow waters. Ships will never enter beyond shallow contour which is in the blue area because there is a high risk of running aground. Since the set value in this ENC for shallow contour is 7 meters, and there are no intermediate contours available, it will always display the available contour which is higher than the set value, and the next available contour higher than 7 meters is 10 meters. The program will never display a contour that is lesser than the set value. For example, if we set the value of shallow contour to 11 meters, if the available contours are 10 and 20 meters, a 20 meter contour will be displayed, not the nearest contour which is 10 meters. Next, the contour between the light blue and gray area shown in a bold line is a safety contour. A safety contour is a line on a nautical chart that indicates a depth beyond which it is considered safe for most vessels to navigate. It provides a safety margin and is often used as a guideline for determining safe routes. Staying within the safety contour ensures that vessels have enough water depth for navigation. If we inspect this ENC, the spot sounding here is 14 meters, then 15 meters, and here are 18 meters, and on the other side of the safety contour which is in a gray area, the spot sounding is 25 meters. It means that this safety contour shows an equal depth of 20 meters. The set value for safety contour in this ENC is 14 meters. Since a 15 meter contour is not available, the next available contour which is higher than 14 meters is 20 meters. That is why a displayed safety contour in this ENC is 20 meters. This contour is the indication of safe water and unsafe water for a ship to navigate. The gray area is the safe water, while the light blue area is the unsafe water. 
Although there are instances that entering a safety contour and navigating through water in a light blue area is still considered safe water if the safety depth is determined. Safety depth refers to the minimum depth of water required for the safe passage of a vessel. It is the minimum depth a ship should have beneath its keel to avoid grounding or to avoid other navigational hazards. It is often set to a value the same as the safety contour to ensure safe navigation. Let us go to another ENC. The setting for the safety parameters in this ENC is the same as the previous ENC. In this chart, the entered value for the safety depth is 14 meters, as well as with the safety contour. This is a shallow contour, and this one is a safety contour that includes a portion of the TSS. As you observed, this is a 22.5 meters spot sounding, and here is a 19.1 meters. This safety contour is on the 20 meter depth sounding. If we observe, the spot soundings in the light blue area are composed of black and gray. These 13.6, 11.6, and 12.7 meters are in black, while the spot sounding on the gray are 14.7 meters, 18.3 meters and the rest are on the gray color. All spot soundings with a value the same as safety depth and lesser will be in black. It means that all spot soundings in 14.0 meters and less are in black and it indicates unsafe water. Ships should not pass a spot sounding of 14 meters or less. On the other hand, a gray spot indicates safe water in which the ship can safely navigate in this area. The basis for the safe and unsafe water is the set value in the safety depth which in this ENC is 14 meters. So if you are making a passage plan and you will be transiting along this TSS, even though you are crossing this safety contour, your ship will have a safe passage since the set safety depth is 14 meters, which is the minimum depth of water in which the vessel can safely navigate. If we look at the spot sounding along the traffic lane within the safety contour in a light blue shade, it is 19.5 meters, 19.1 meters, and 17.7 meters which is higher than 14 meters, the set value in the safety depth. Next, I will show you how to determine the following safety parameters. This is the procedure used in my previous company, this may differ from your company procedures. This video serves only as your reference or guide, always refer to your company policies on how to determine the safety parameters. Here it's stated that settings may be changed at master's discretion on specific sections of passage, such as when it is necessary to keep the vessel outside a specific contour. Then the settings are not intended to be fixed for the entire voyage. And here are the procedures how to determine the following safety parameters. For the safety contour and safety depth, it has the same value. Let us deal first with the safety depth. To find the safety depth, we have the vessel's dynamic draft, plus 10% of the maximum static draft or 1 meter whichever is greater, plus the catsock depth and accuracy, minus the height of tide if applicable. We have two different aspects of a ship's draft, the static draft and the dynamic draft. Static draft refers to the draft of a ship when it is stationary, at rest in the water, or dead in the water. Dynamic draft on the other hand, takes into account the dynamic effects on the draft of a ship when it is in motion. It includes factors such as the influence of waves, ship speed, squat, and the ship's response to sea conditions. These drafts are based on when the ship is floating in salt water. As per company policy, dynamic draft is equal to maximum static draft, plus ship squat, plus heel or roll, plus sea or swell, and plus pitch. Let us assume that the ship's static draft forward is 6.0 meters and the aft draft is 6.60 meters. So the maximum static draft is 6.60 meters. For the squat, I have made a separate video for this, kindly check the link in the description. For now, let us assume that the ship squat is 1.20 meters. For the heel, swell and pitch, it will depend on the sea conditions and it may vary if your ship is in open or confined water. Let us assume that for the heel, it is 1.0 meter, 
for the swell 0.5 meter, and for the pitch is 0.5 meter also. If we add the following value, the ship's dynamic draft is 9.80 meters. Next, to find the 10% of the maximum static draft, we will multiply 6.60 meters by 0.10, and it is equal to 0.66 meters. But it is stated here that 10% of the static draft or 1 meter whichever is greater. So we will take the 1 meter since it has a greater value. Next is the catsock depth and accuracy, which is composed of different categories, those are category A1, A2, B, C, D, and U. If you are not familiar with catsock, I made a separate video about this, kindly check the link in the description. Let us assume that for a selected depth of water, the catsock depth and accuracy is 2.0 meters. For the height of tide, let us leave this value zero, we will assume that we will be passing during the lowest astronomical tide. If we add the following values, the sum is 12.80 meters, so our safety contour is 13 meters. For the shallow contour, it is the maximum dynamic draft which is 9.80 meters, minus the height of tide which for now we leave it as zero value. So the shallow contour is 10 meters. For the deep contour, it is the maximum static draft which is 6.60 meters, plus the maximum dynamic draft which is 9.80 meters, the sum is 16.40 meters. Our deep contour is 17 meters. If we are on board, we do not calculate this manually. We have an Excel sheet like this one on board in which we will just enter the following data, then the recommended safety parameters will automatically be provided, and this value will be set to our ECTUS. Let us set the following safety parameters that we have determined in the ECTUS. Since I was not on the bridge when I made this video, I used the installed ECTUS on my laptop called OpenCPN, this is an open source software that you can download on their official website for free. It has only limited features but we can still set the safety parameters and it displays the available contours in the ENCs. I use the older version because the ENCs I installed are more compatible with the older version. Let us first check the default contours in this ENC. So we go to the setting. Then on the chart, select vector chart display. Here it was set to four shades or four colors. Then below, we can set our safety parameters. In the ECTUS on the bridge, the dialog box for the contour setting will look like this. In OpenCPN, shallow depth will be the same as shallow contour. The safety depth and safety contour are combined, and the deep depth is the same as the depth contour. To check for the available contour in this ENC, click on the tree lines in the lower right corner. Then go to the display category, and select user standard. The available contours now are displayed. This contour line shows an equal depth of 2 meters. This one is 5 meters. This is a 10 meter contour. This one is 15 meters. Here is 20 meters. And this one is 30 meters. Those are the available contours in this particular area. Let us hide these contour lines. In this ENC, the default setting for shallow contour is 4 meters. The available contour higher than 4 meters is 5 meters, so a 5 meter contour is displayed. This contour line is the shallow contour between the blue and the light blue shades. For the safety contour, it was set to 7 meters. In this ENC, the available contour higher than 7 meters is 10 meters. This is the safety contour, showing an equal depth of 10 meters, which is always displayed in bold lines so that we can easily distinguish between navigable and non-navigable waters. But not all areas within the safety contour are non-navigable waters, it also depends on the set safety depth. In this ENC, the set safety depth is 7 meters, so all spot soundings which is 7 meters or less are in black, and all those greater than 7 meters are in gray. 
It means that the vessel can safely cross a safety contour and safely navigate inside the light blue area as long as she stays within the spot soundings in gray color. But before you do this, you should determine first your no-go area, and set an alarm line. For the deep contour, it was set to 12 meters, and the available contour higher than 12 meters is 15 meters. This is the deep contour, showing a 15 meter depth. Let us set the safety parameters that we have calculated earlier in this video. For the shallow contour, it is 10 meters. For the safety contour and safety depth, 13 meters. And for the deep contour, it is 17 meters. When I click apply, observe how the contour lines change, especially the safety contour. In the previous setting, the safety contour displays a depth of 10 meters. When I click this the apply button, the safety contour will display along the 15 meters depth since the set safety contour is 13 meters. Let's click apply. Here you can see that the safety contour which is in bold line changes to 15 meters depth. Usually, navigators set it to two shades or two colors display, most especially during night mode. Let us switch to two shades to find the difference. As you can see, the only contour left is the safety contour and it stays on the 15 meter depth sounding. The shallow and deep contours disappear, and the light blue becomes blue, and the gray becomes white. In this two shades display, we can easily distinguish the navigable and the non-navigable waters disregarding the set safety depth. This display is also more convenient during night mode. Let us set this again to four colors, and switch to night mode. We are now on a night mode and in four shades display. This is the shallow contour, the safety contour, and the deep contour. Let's switch to two shades display. It only displays a safety contour, and in this display, we can easily identify the area of navigable and non-navigable waters. That's all for now guys, if you find this video helpful, do not forget to like and share, and if you are new to this channel, kindly click the subscribe button, thank you for watching, bye.